Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about uh, JSON parsing in the marine forms. So let's start. So I've created this project uh, in which I have uh, uh, this tag layout and in this tag layout we have this label. So I'll append all the JSON or a um, value from JSON to this label and um, uh, now we will go to code and uh, in, inside the code we will create a method for downloading JSON. So I will click F7 and now here I will create a public async. So this async means that this uh, method or uh, it will download the JSON in uh, asynchronously in background and uh, it is of type task so it returns uh, a task and then we will name this uh, method so git and json async and now i'll put uh, parentheses and curly braces so we have created our method now we need to download a library called uh, Newton JSON, Newton soft JSON. So for that, we will go to this uh, JSON parsing project. Right click on it, and uh, we will um, go to um, manage NuGet packages. Now here we will click on this uh, browse, and uh, we will search for Newton soft and now if we search this so it is this first one so we will select this and now we will install this so it will take some time to install i'll click ok now it is in installed you can see this uh, green tech here and if i come to this install so you can see newton uh, swap json here so now we will go to our uh, man uh, page.zaml.cs file and uh, here we will not directly deserialize this json we will uh, uh, get it uh, object by object and array by array and we will parse each object and each array step by step so that you can understand json parsing now if i come to this uh, I will show you this uh, JSON. So the fir this first one is JSON object, and then we have this JSON array inside this uh, JSON object, and then we have these uh, multiple JSON objects uh, inside this JSON array. From here, this curly brace up to this comma. This is first object, and then the second object stop from here, and it ends here on this comma. So the cur curly braces represent JSON objects and the square brackets represents JSON arrays. So now we will go again to Visual Studio and our project. So first we need URL. So var URI equals new U R I this one and now here I will pass in the URL. So I'll put semicolon here and now I'll go to browser and from here I will copy this URL and now I'll again go to this uh, uh, project and now I'll copy it here and now I'll put semicolon I've already put it so now I'll make some space and here we will use HTTP client so HTTP client HTTP client equals new HTTP client and then I will use this now we will import this so I'll click on this and using HTTP now I'll use your var a response equals uh, HTTP dot uh, get async 
and then URI and now I'll put semicolon here now I'll use debug dot right line right line and I will use response or I will use response is response and now I'll put semicolon here now we will import this debug as well so using system diagnostic and now I'll run it on my device so we have made two mistakes one we have caught and didn't caught this here and this uh, constructor of this main page and the second one we haven't use await keyword here this await keyword will stop uh, the execution of this method until this http client.get async uri is completed so uh, we will stop it and we will run it again uh, but first i will call it here git uh, json async and i'll put semicolon here and now we will run this so now the application is running and it uh, um, return us this response response status is responses and the, here we have responses status code 200 uh, reason parse okay version 1.1 content and this so we will get the and this uh, uh, status code so now we have uh, got the response so response is uh, status code uh, 200 uh, reason uh, parse ok version 1.1 which is this response and this you can see all this response here so we will get this status code so I'll close this this and now I'll remove this response We'll use app response dot is status code which means if it is okay then do what war content equal to response dot content dot read uh, string async and now I'll use semicolon here and we have to use await here and now we will change this uh, content to string so string json equals content dot to uh, string and I'll put semicolon here and now we will convert this string to uh, json object so for that we will use json object equals j object dot not this one j object dot j j object dot j j object dot parse and now we will uh, import this j object and I'll put semicolon here and uh, put in the JSON here now it is okay 
uh, why we use this uh, j object because the first element of this json is a json object so that is why we use j object now i will get uh, values from this uh, j object so i can get the status if i show you the uh, json if i copy this from here and now i paste it in a browser now you can see this is this curly brace represent a json object then we have status and uh, which is true and then message so we will uh, get this status message and this data so for that i will come here and uh, i'll use where var status equals and json object and um, i'll use a uh, uh, status var and then message equals json object message or uh, data equals json uh, object and then I'll use uh, data this d is small so data and I'll put semicolon now let me print this data so I'll use debug uh, dot write uh, line and I'll use data and now I'll put semicolon now if I run this right now now here you can see that the data is printed which is a uh, an uh, array you can see the square bracket now if I come here and show you the data so you you can see that this data and then we have the square bracket so that is why here this uh, square bracket is shown and then this object which contain this data so now we will retrieve this so for that I will go to this uh, and come here to my project and now I'll close this and now I'll remove this uh, debug dot right line and now I'll uh, convert this to JSON array so JSON array equals um, j array dot parse and now I'll um, put uh, data dot to string and now I'll put semicolon here now as you can see here then we have uh, each element inside this uh, uh, data array, uh, just an object inside these uh, this uh, data array. So now we will get each uh, object, just an object. So for that we will use for each loop. So I'll come here and I will use for each each var. Uh, token in JSON array do what um, debug uh, dot right line for now I will uh, use only one token so I'll use the name token we have name here yes we have name here so now if I run this now all names will be shown here in the console so now I'll run this so now 
as uh, you can see all the name Roger Peder, Rafael Nadal, all the names are retrieved and shown here in the console. Now we will uh, get all the values and append it to a string builder and then we will set the string builder to a, a label. So for that I'll come here and uh, outside this uh, for loop I'll create string builder builder or string builder equals new string builder semicolon and now I'll uh, get each value and uh, append it to this string build, uh, builder so uh, string builder dot append um, uh, token double quote plus token and I'll use uh, name and uh, then I will use plus double quotes and then plus I'll use here um, country and I will use uh, token country and I'll put se semicolon now you can append all the values so I'll um, set this country and I will use name here space and I'll make a space here now outside this I will access that label so for that I will go to designer view designer and I will name this uh, label uh, as uh, name so I'll name this label control is this now I'll go to CS file and here I'll access this uh, label so at the top of this uh, method I'll access it so I'll use um, label label equals this dot find by name and uh, I'll use uh, label and then the name we gave to this label so label and now I'll put semicolon here and now down here I'll use label dot text equals string builder dot uh, to string power slash n So now the application is running on the device. If I show you, you can see that name Roger Federer, country Switzerland, name Rafael Nadal, country Spain, name Novak Djokovic, country Serbia, all the names are shown and the country are shown. So in this way you can also append the other tokens or the other uh, uh, values from this JSON, uh, uh, which is the city and this image URL. Um, so that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.